What up, everybody? Welcome back to another modern chaos draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. Oh, interesting. Got a sapperling burst. I like a man of war. Oh, I like a prophetic bolt a lot. Astral Slide could be good, but since it's not just one set, I have no idea how many uh, cycling cards. Dan's what up? Welcome, welcome, my friend. I think we're just going to take Prophetic Bolt. I think it's stronger than Mana War. And if Scrivener comes back, I might just be tempted to take a Scrivener. We're not going to put it in the sideboard, though, because that's weird. I also got some of these resealable... These sealable, I guess you could call them. Dragon Shield uh, Perfect Fits. They're pretty wild. And they look... They look like this. They're really long. So, like, it's one long one. And then they go on pretty much like this. Like, you wrap the top over and you tuck it into the back. And it's pretty wild, dude. Sleeves be crazy. Alright, we got a Prophetic Bolt. What are we following up with? Young Pyromancer? Fire Ice? Think Twice? I'm breathing canned air. Yeah, I took my son to sleep tonight. Um. Yeah, let's take Young Peasy and hope Fire Ice comes back. Oh, Fire Blast. Interesting. Interesting. Are we just going to draft like... I'm just going to take Fire Blast. I think it's probably better than Burning Wish. In Limited, you don't care about Burning Wish so much because you just want to play your your good cards in the main deck. <laughs> um, could be Mud Button Torch Runner. Could just be Battle Rattle Shaman as well. Makes the um, the tokens a little better. Um, I don't know if Ancient Grudge is going to be super good, especially if we can't flash it back. I don't think we want Pyroclasm when it kills our PZ. I want to take the Shaman. Thank you. I like dragon fodder. Shanala with the resub. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate. Crippling chills. All right. Draw a card. I'm gonna take dragon fodder here. I really like Cathari bomber. I think this card's great. It's literally uh, a bird that attacks for two and then makes a dragon fodder. Um, and then you can unearth it again to make another another goblin fodder. Um. Because 27, 28, 29. It's actually... I'm going to take Cathari Bomber. I think it's just so much better than... <sighs> Do I need to go red? I'm going to take Dragon Fire. The reason is because it works well with Young Pyromancer as well. And I think this is going to be a, a, a moment of discipline here, so... This will forever be known as the day where I, I took the the other card. The, the, the worser card, in my opinion. In order to stay on color. Okay, one problem I'm seeing with these perfect fits in sleeves. Oh look, but look, here's two here's two guild gates to make us feel better about our especially because there's no red cards in here. Hmm. Rampager is fine, but I'd rather just take a land that could help us eventually. I'll take the Rakdos Guildgate here. I guess Cathodian's fine. It's just a three. Actually, these guys are real good. Yeah, let's take the Minotaurs. <laughs> I'd rather have a four mana five five than a three mana three three. <clears throat> Dismal Backwater. Oh, Borderland Marauder is actually pretty aggressive. Also, Orcish Oriflame when we have Dragon Fodder and Young Pyromancer. <clears throat> That's fascinating. 
feel like that's got to be the pick, right? I think Marauder is actually real good. I want to take the Marauder. Okay, so one of my issues is that it might be hard to take out the double-faced cards, like to pull them in and out. But it does not seem like it's a terrible inconvenience. Oh, a little, it's a little easier on the katanas for sure. Katanas are a little smoother. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually a nice feel. And it's opaque. Oh boy, this is a tricky one. Pillaging Horde is literally just... I just hate this. I don't want to discard. I'm going to take Obsessive Search. Oh yeah, ruining tonight's episode of Mando would be really rough because it was very, very good. Very good. If you guys have not seen it, I recommend seeing it. I'm going to think twice. I think Think Twice with the Empire Mancer is really great. This deck is looking great. I'm actually, I'm, I like the, where this like where this deck is going. Goblin Commando is also really good. It's just a, it's kind of like, it's just a 2-2 that, that nugs something. It's no Flame Tongue Kafu, but I'll still play it. So this is it. <laughs> so this is it. Please, let's just take this guy. Somebody took the Guitari Bomber, which is interesting. So long, little bomber. Let's take Aristocrat. We have a lot of tokens. Maybe we can Aristocrat something. Okay, a bunch of nothings at the end there. Wow, Talarian Academy, huh? That's pretty wild. Um, we could take Kindle. There actually, there's quite a few Kindles going around, and I think the upside of Kindle is a lot higher than the upside of Chain Lightning. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just take the chain lightning. Thank you. I'm gonna be real sad if there's like three more Kindles we see. Evil monkey, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh wow. <laughs> Sudden shock, I like. Aether snipe, I like. Rift bolt, I like. Oh boy. I feel like something is gonna come back from this pack. Oh my god. I think it's Rift Bolt. Are we blue for Think, play, think Twice and Prophetic Bolt? Yeah, I don't see a reason why we wouldn't be. I'll just take Rift Bolt here. Yeah, especially when we can get this Illusory Ambusher. That guy's great. Oh boy. That's a sweet one. That refills our hand quite well. Yep, block your 3-3. Three, three, kill it, draw 3. Seems good. Thank you. Drow, thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude.
uh, don't care about gamble. I don't mind just the wind. It's another instant or sorcery. Spark spitter, mm, kind of meh. Yeah, I'll just take just the wind. Also, if we have any like discard outlets, uh, like if Spark Spitter comes back, it's fine. We got just the wind. We can discard it. Do like a key oh, well, another second ball Duvian horde, that's kinda of funny. I wonder if Phantasmal Bear is just good enough. I'm gonna take accumulated knowledge. We'll see if we can draw get more of them. That would be kinda of sweet. Care about dampen thought. Unless you control another giant, I think the odds of that are quite low. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna take Marsh Flitter. I think Marsh Flitter is good enough that we could splash it if we get enough, you know, fixing for it. We already have a Rakdos Guild Gate, so. Hmm. Empty the horns? I mean, Fairy Mechanist is not going to hit anything, unfortunately. I wonder if it's Empty the Warrens. Like, we can suspend a Rift Bolt, play Chain Lightning, Empty the Warrens for two. It's not terrible. I think it's probably better than Grape Shot for what our deck is looking to do. I mean, I feel like even if you make four 1-1s one with this, it's just fine. And it's six mana. Like, we can easily do that. Or you can, like, we can Rift Bolt, Fire Blast, Empty the Warrens. I don't think it's terrible here. Make another guy with the young pyromancer, just for funsies. Uh, this pack's pretty meh. We just take two, three for three. I mean, for seven mana, this makes a copy of something. A top target artifact? Sure. Another Goblin Commando. Uh, Scrivener might not be bad. Get back Fire Blast, Prophetic Bolt. Yeah, it's... That's about it. Think twice. Just the wind is an instant. I mean, it's probably better than second Goblin Commando. Power Sync is also an option. I'll take the Power Sync. Oh, Lava Spike came back? I mean, I usually this would be terrible, but I actually don't think it's that bad here. We kind of have the deck for it. Elusive Spellfist. Oh, that guy's actually really good for us. Wow, that's kind of shocking. Oh wow, Phantasmal Bear might even be playable in this deck. Uh, you are probably not playable at all. I mean, Fairy Mechanist is actually really good, and I'm surprised it was the last pick, but I don't imagine there's a an artifact theme here, <laughs> so. Oh, Ulamog the Infinite Gyre. Wow, that's a guy. We have 3-3 three, three Blood Ogre, potentially. Or we have 5-5. Five, five. I, I do think it is 5-5. Five, five. I pretty much agree with you here. I think this... Oh, wow, it almost took Gnarlin pack. That's cool. 
yeah, this guy's just really, really good. And we have a ton of guys that can probably sneak through and get get a point in for the Bloodthirst. Coordinate Assault, it's only two creatures, not great. Cheaper Dragons, don't really care about that. Diminish. We could just do Moonglove Extract, actually. Just two damage. Yeah, I think that's actually fine. Not sure if we're going to main deck it, but... Ooh, is it Guildgate? Seems great here. Significantly better than Traitorous Instinct or Kraken Hatchling, so... We could also take Crumbling Necropolis, which is actually just a better Guildgate. Yeah, that just makes sense. And now we have two sources of Black Splash, so... There's this really, really common trap that, that people in general like to... That, not, they don't like to, but they happen to fall into uh, when it comes to lands or, or cards in general in Magic. If you can't utilize every aspect of a card, uh, you look at that card as worse than a card that gives you fewer options. Like, for some reason, I looked at Is It Guildgate? I'm like, it's our, it's our exact colors. It's perfect. That's got to be better than the, um, you know, the, the Crumbling Necropolis, which offers us the same two lands, but also a third land as well, a third color as well, um, because it feels like there's an unused overlap. And I think psychologically that, that tends to feel like you're wasting something. Or that it isn't as elegant because it's got this extra color that you're never going to use. So it, it seems wasteful. It's very weird. It's a, I, I don't think it's just... It's definitely not just me. I've seen I've seen Mike do it. I've seen other people do it. And it's it's a weird psychological, like... It, it's just... I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, actually. I don't think it's another Battle Rattle Shaman. I, like, I kind of like Steed. What are we doing with Fury Charm here? Plus one, plus one. Remove two time counters. Yeah, I don't care about that as much. It might just be Executioner's Capsule. And we have two sources of black to splash it if we really need that kind of effect. Fathom Seer is interesting. So is Jackal Pup. Do we just not have any three drops? <laughs> we have one three drop. Doesn't really count though. It might just be Jackal Pub. We have Phantasmal Image. Phantasmal Bear, rather. But what if you tap it for black but aren't allowed to take C's back C's? Well, well, you know, that's a good point. This is just this is just gush. I'm actually gonna take this guy. This guy is just fine. It's a two drop or it's a three drop. Drawing two cards has gotta be better than Jackal random Jackal Pub. I'm not paying full price for modes I'm not going to use. You know what? That's your right. That's your right to, to do or to not do, as it were. Phyrexian Ghoul. What up, TPO? Um, you know, just, hmm. Totally lost as a card. It also triggers our, our other gentleman. Ooh, Arena Athlete. I mean, we don't have a ton of spells that are going to target this guy, unfortunately. Still going to take it. We only have 11 creatures, unfortunately. But one of them is Dragonfire. That's kind of like 12. Wow, the Ulamog came back. That is fascinating. Run out of things here. I 
mill protection. What is this, the Corset Cube? <laughs> I don't think we have any giants in our deck. Man, it's our Warrior, Shaman, Goblin, Catillusion, Construct, Human Warrior. Eh, Costly Plunder is fine. You guys think that Jackal Pup's coming back? Not really excited about accumulated knowledge at all. Drawing one card is not really where I want to be. It's just worse than obsessive search at that point. Mirror Enforcer, sure. I mean, we also have, um... Sure. We could also play obsessive search just for, like, the, um the empty the warrens combo and it makes a guy with young pyromancer as well all right sure i don't actually think we're going to play necropolis here none of our blue spells cost two blue so we can just go nine eight here seven ten is your recommendation i still want to go nine eight because we have a lot of early blue marsh filler might be no nah, actually we have a ton of four drops so at the time we didn't have a lot of four drops so Oh, we do have Totally Lost in the deck. That's interesting. I, I just don't think we want to splash a Marsh Flitter off of two lands. I don't know, man. I like Dragon Shields a lot, but I feel like these Katanas... Have a much better feel with the pro with the with the perfect fits in there. That's pretty wild. So you got this this Karn sleeved up in a in a katana with a perfect fit. And I'm looking for double sleeve. I want to be able to easily remove double sided cards and put them in backwards, so that while you're playing, you could just flip them. And it's really easy to do in the katana. Like it's very very nice. But when you get the ultra pro. It's a lot tighter, and you're like, a little bit squeezy. And then when you want to take it out, you're like, there's a lot of more, there's a lot more re resistance. It's not, actually, it's not, it's not terrible after a few tries. Um, yeah, this seems good. End of turn, we can bounce your creature, play Gor Gorhorn, Gorn. Young Pyromancer are off the top would also be just fantastic. Just fantastic. I guess we do need a fourth land for Gorhorn Mantors, but... Just put some lube on the cards. Oh, wow, Dirkwood Wars is going to be nice. Well, we did get our fourth land, which is great. Now we just need a fifth land. I mean, if we can use Illusory Ambusher and Goblin to block here... Actually, it's kind of rough because they can deal 5 to this guy. 4 to this guy and 1 to this guy. Okay, kind of like that a lot. Jeez. Oh my god. Really? Oh boy. So we just get to play a Gorhorn Minotaur right now. Oh yeah, Mark, Dragon Shields are like my go-to, dude. They're like, uh, they have been consistently like the highest quality shield. Like their shuffle feel is great, their durability is great. Oh, this is a really a really big decision for some basic lands. Yeah, 
Yep, that was a pretty sweet turn three. <laughs> oh, katanas are great too. I agree. My biggest concern is like, like I don't want to have to like keep like like if you guys can see. Like it's very, it's it's almost hard. Like I have to keep finding a grip, and if your finger is at least even a little slippery, it's hard to pull out. Whereas with the katana, it kind of slides right out. It's really, it's like it's it's very nice. It's a very nice pull out feel. Whatever that means. Oops, mistakes were made. Actually, maybe they weren't. Main phase, just the Windar guy. Back again. All right, we did it. Thanks for the amount of silly you bring to Twitch. Not enough magic players are silly. It's yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I definitely am a lot more um, whimsical. Let's oh, Jesus, whimsical than than most player than most pros. Let's say this is actually hilarious. <laughs> this one goblin's like clearing the path for all these gorehorn minotaurs. Oh my god. Wow. This is wild, man. Well, here's their 5-5. Five five. Oh boy, Creekwood Leech, huh? What's the other ability? Feed your upkeep, you may make a 1-1. One, one. Sure, that's a good card. Oh, they didn't attack us. Well. I mean, I'm definitely at a point where I'll just literally block Dirkwood Bailoth with only Illusory Ambusher, so they can't put 4 on the Goblin. It's the, it's a question of, like, is this worth... Actually, let's draw 6 cards. That's pretty good. <laughs> Yep, you got it. Sure. Like they're just never gonna attack. That's that's pretty cool. Well, at least it shuts down their engine. Oh man, Chanel, thank you guys for saying so. I really appreciate you guys. Okay. Wow, sort of fire and ice against the red blue deck. Fantastic. Just just fantastic. Oh, well, at least we get to draw a million here. Just this guy, huh? Sure, you got it. Kills my battle roll, shaman. <laughs> well, it was fun playing. Sure was. Sure was. Yep. I mean, this is fantastic. Of course, we're playing against the main deck, Sword of Fire and Ice, against our blue-red blue, blue red deck. 
Why wouldn't we? Of course we play Gore, Gorehorn, three Gorehorn Minotaurs, not one of them sticks because they have Pacifism Arrest and uh, Oblivion Ring in their hand. So, good times. Yep. So, fingers crossed for the 2-1 in this draft. That's interesting. That's kind of a combo. Fire Blast makes it even better, I think. I mean, I would definitely... I mean, if we're making six goblins, I would definitely be convinced to Fire Blast the same turn we make those million goblins. Hmm... Okay. Uh, prime subs still should trigger the announcement, but I, I thought you had to do it manually. I don't know. I, I don't know. They definitely do. Because Evil Monkey's triggered, and that was a prime sub. Yep, I will take two. I'm sure you will pay, play your Sword of Fire and Ice right on turn three. That'd be just a Phantom Tiger. Okay. Okay, well. Hmm. Fascinating. This is like one, two. This is eight tokens if we can get six mana. Which we can next turn. I think we're just going to play Gorehorn by itself here. Just as a dude. Yeah, when I reset with Prime, it asks me if I want to share the announcement. Usually that's how it works. Oh, good. Is this whenever it dealt damage, remove a counter instead? Sure. Hmm. They make a 1-1, one, one, but we make two more 2-2s. Two, two, two more 1-1s. One, ones. Like, we could go Obsessive Search, Fire Blast, Empty the Warrens this turn for six guys. Or we can make eight guys next turn. I think we actually bounce the Creekwood Liege. Sure. Yeah, that seems good. I'll do it myself. Thank you. Oral, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you got it. You're gonna play that instead of Creekwood Liege? That's pretty wild. Okay. That's actually pretty hard to deal with, because if we... It'll, it can never take damage, so that's actually pretty insane. Yep. Oh, that's really sad. Wow, that's amazing. Jesus, this is pretty comical. So this guy's kind of unbeatable, right? Because we don't actually have bounce spells in the graveyard now. Yeah, I'm not going to waste a fire blast here. Yep, there's your creaky boy. Yep, now this guy never just never dies. Prophetic bolt. Hmm. 
We have a lot of damage. <laughs> I mean, we have eight damage in hand. Unfortunately, we're getting to a turn. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. an artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Hand is very good. <sighs> this is comically obnoxious. And of course our 3-3 is over here. That's unfortunate. Um, making this guy 3-3 three, three is actually just fine. It's got to be better than, like, Power Sync for one here. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, it's comical because it just can't draw a creature with three toughness here. Let me guess. You're going to play a card that I would have been able to power sync for two? Uh, okay. That was surprisingly unimpressive. Just like our draws. <laughs> Steed... Put a counter on it. So they can block forever with this guy because of the Armadillo Cloak. Good lord, man. <laughs> Okie dokie. You got it. So you didn't attack last turn, but you're attacking this turn. Okay. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll go to three instead of two because at least it's another attack. It's not terrible. Oh, wait, they have trample, so it's actually not the best. One, two, three. This is actually just so comically bad right now. Yep. I think it's pretty safe to say we lost to Armadillo Cloak on a one of these creatures. I don't even know what you would call them. <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually fine. It doesn't give Trample again, so... And then we get to draw five, and we get to go to one. I'm probably just going to block because we're going to draw so many cards. Okay, well, a lot of land. Oh, again, this guy doesn't die either. <laughs> That's hilarious because of the damage prevention. Oh, Lord. So how much can we deal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is a match. Not a great match. Not a match we could likely win, but it's certainly a match. I'm just waiting for them to draw their Sword of Fire and Ice. Or 
Worm harvest for one land. You got it. Make a 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Of course, holding both of these guys back is pretty bad. I mean, every future land is just going to be more worms. Like, this deck is fucking ridiculous. Like, it's a, basically a green-white enchantment deck that is splashing blue and black for Hanna. Worms Harvest, Creekwood Liege, and God knows what else. How much damage can I deal here? Enough to kill them? I don't think so. I'm putting this guy on top because it just gets rid of it and they have to redraw that guy and I'm totally fine with them redrawing that, that guy. Um, I think we play Battle Rattle Shaman and then just attack with everybody. They block here and here, but then they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, they go to 10. Like, we just have to press our advantage here. Yep, that's fine. So you're taking five, you're taking eight, which is actually better than we expected. So they play their, their shitty guy again. And then they make a worm token. No, they Sanctum Gargoyle for nothing, for no value. Kill this, they block here and here. They take, or they block here and here. They take one, two, three, four, five. They go to four. Let's see. Oh, actually we should have just held that, I think, but I don't think it actually is gonna matter. They go block here and here. They take one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's dead. Chain to face was better, but it doesn't really matter. Yep. Not even going to sack the mountains for it. Okay. Good friggin' lord. They have some hard things to deal with. I think we actually want Capsule here. <laughs> um, God, Ulamog's even tempting. I'm just like, how about a big guy? Okay, let's so take out one of these and a blue. Dragon Souls, it's like a 1 3, it's kind of fine. Yeah, actually, Apprentice isn't terrible. You just get to sack their... You get to sack the creatures they put their things on, which actually gives us something. Same thing with Costly Plunder. God, I'm just putting a premium on just the wind and uh, and totally lost. I wish this was a silent uh, departure instead. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll go eight, eight, four. I think that's fine. Fathom Seer seems fine as a 1-3. Draws us some cards. Let's take out the bear. Bear doesn't seem great here. Uh, 
Mm, boy. Elegant Rooster, we are playing a Master's Master's uh, Chaos Draft. Give me one more cut because I'm fine playing 41 here. It might just be Fathoms here. Actually, it's Cut Obsessive Search. We're only using it for the other, the other thing anyway. We still have Lava Spike chain lightning and uh, executioner's capsule um we can suspend this on three and then shoot them on four to play more minotaurs <laughs> well one can hope Is it boiler works? Jeez. It's actually pretty decent. So they have forest in hand. Sounds good. Do they just accidentally play the wrong land and then have nothing to play? Oh, we're gonna gorehorn. You don't need to suspend on three. Suspend is only one mana. What does that mean? No, we're suspending on three so that on four we'll have the Bloodthirst trigger. Yeah, I don't care about that. I mean, they're just going to arrest it anyway, because there's their white mana. <laughs> oh, God. 5-4, huh? Got him. Oh my god, is this going to be... Are we going to be able to power sync this? That would be so sick. Uh, yep, sure. If we had one more red, we can... Minotaur and a Lava Spike, but... I mean, Power Sync for two is not bad. One, two. If they play a five drop... Well, actually, Thawing Glaciers is really sweet, but that's going to be... That's probably going to prevent you from playing anything relevant this turn. Like, it comes in to play tap, so you're going to have four mana to work with. Yep. Sure. They play a planes too. Banalish Trapper. That's actually fine because we can still get around it in Gorehorn. We have seven damage in hand as well, and their armadillo cloak is gone. So, not bad. Crumbling Necropolis. Elusive Spellfist seems actually really good here. They have four cards, they didn't play any of them. 
Like next time we just get to go Lava Spike and Prophetic Bolt for like seven. This is ten. They go to one. It's not bad. Oh yeah, I do arena sometimes. Whenever there's like a cool draft format like Chaos Chaos Draft or Cube Drafts on Magic Online, I'll, I'll prefer that. But for most constructed, I do prefer arena. You asked that like four minutes ago, so apologies if it was late. Hmm. Oh, that's fascinating. And also, we can even we can even counter whatever they might do. Is settle the wreckage? I mean, we have for four, one, two, three, four. What can they have here for single blue? Aether eyes. Oh, nothing. We just win the game. <laughs> wow. Winning that match was friggin' insane, dude. That's crazy, dude. I have no idea how he won that match. <sighs> That's wild. Good gravy. Wow, and I was like, well, I guess we can go 2-1, maybe. You want a hot dog? That is very random at 11 p.m., my dude. Well, they had interactivity in the sense that, like, they could stop our creatures with arrest, pacifism, and, uh... Oblivion Ring. They just didn't seem to have any of those at the time. Hmm, okay. Wow. Boy, oh boy. I think we're going to five here. Okay. Probably getting rid of Mountain Obsessive Search. Obsessive Search is just a... A worse version of these other cards. And if we can draw any, like, two or three drop creature, this might be decent. I mean, I mold to five. Well, you mold to six, I guess. That's the thing. Hold on a second. I'm gonna close this window. It's getting real chilly. That guy on three is actually not terrible. Cast face down. they want to block and trade here because that would be interesting there's a two for one for us and plus we can even we can even flip this guy what
This is wild. I mean, if we flip, they both survive, but right now this is a two for one, which I think is totally fine. I don't really want to go two lands back on my... That was a very interesting trade. I'm obviously not going to wait to play Gorhorn Minotaurs when it's like... We don't, have, we, ha we don't have a fifth land, so we have to draw a fifth land and play Goblin Commando and hope they have a thing to kill, otherwise it kills itself. And then we have to play Gorhorn Minotaur, and if it gets through... And they don't have another block. It's just, there's so many hurdles. Like, it's just not even worth it. Oh, Jesus. Well, young Pyromancer. That's not terrible. Give it to this guy. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? God, man. I have yet to attack with a fucking Gorhorn Minotaur that hasn't had a white enchantment on it. Okay. Okie dokie. Yep, that's pretty good. Obsidat's a hell of a card. Nice mana base. God, all you guys giving me shit in YouTube for fucking playing multiple colors, like... They have, they have 26 life. Oh, they gained 4 from the Faith's Fetters. Well, a fifth land would be nice, because then we can totally lost this this idiot. Hmm. Yeah, obviously that's pretty good. That's a good card. <laughs> that's a good card. This is my Obzadak deck, and I'm splashing blue and red for double black, double white cards. Yeah, all right, man. You got it. At least when I fucking... I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to complain. I mean, I am, but what are you going to do? I'm not going to take five from this idiot. I hope they play a shuffle effect accidentally. Play a cultivate. That's right, it could be a five color deck. Not anymore, because they don't have any counters on this, but... What am I looking at here? It's kind of hilarious because without that Scoured Burns, they actually wouldn't even be able to cast their fucking arms in that, but. You know, here we are. Hey, it's Obsidat. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? It's Obsidat. They probably gained about 16 life this game. Yeah, alright, we're just done here. Yep. Yeah. Ah, non black creature. Got it. Got it. I just have no way to deal 5 damage. Some, my hope is that they just kind of like stumble on their own creatures maybe I think extract might actually be better than obsessive search even though it does work with pyromancer and empty the horns it's probably better than bear actually maybe not I don't know bear could be good 
If we draw bear on one, it's actually just a lot of damage, but... Eh, take obsessive search out, sure. I mean, it's rough when we when they discard Famine to their creature that gives negative one, negative one, and we have, like, Empty the Warrens and Young Pyromancer in our deck. It's it's kind of funny that I feel like we've played multiple decks that are very, very good against our deck. Let's play first. Sure. This doesn't seem bad. Mist Veil Plains. I don't know why you would be playing this, but... Rugged Prairie, this is wild, dude. Yep, didn't assume that would stay on the board for more than one turn. Joke's on you, I got a bear. And we can power sink something for one? That's not terrible, plus we can follow it up with an Iron Steed and attack for five. <sighs> this just doesn't seem good or worth countering. The problem is, like, I don't want to discard Island because it lets us play this. And I don't want to discard Fire Blast or Steed. Those are my two, like, powerful cards. So I'm just going to play the weak card. If we hit a land, I'm probably going to be beside it and discard a land. I'm sad. But that's okay. It's still five damage. I'm sure it'll die. I'm sure they got Wrath of God here, but what can you do? Well, okay. I came in like a wrecking ball. This is where they go black, obsidian. Are you ready? I mean, to the credit of this format, there are a bunch of cool cards you can open. Wake Dancer without a trigger is not one of them. And we're just going to keep getting in there. We're going to force them to redraw that. They missed a land drop last turn, so they're just going to have to play Wake Dancer again, I assume. Love a scathe zombies. More like a scathe zombub, am I right? Yep, here we go. That's what they needed. They're just like, do they have a counter spell? I mean, again, it's really hard for us to beat an opposite that because of the life gain. Whenever a creature with flying dies, put a 1 1 counter on it, sure. Well. 
I'm going to keep playing lands because eventually we're going to draw something like uh, Empty the Warrens. And we want to be able to go Just the Wind, Fire Blast, Empty the Warrens. They're like Fallen Shinobi, and I'm like, that's in Modern Horizons, dummy. <sighs> Street Wraith. I'm just going to bounce this guy. Really hoping to draw Lava Spike here, but... <laughs> it was too good to be true. All right. Oh my god, really? Wow, that's aggressive. I guess that would have only been nine. This bear is doing some work, you ain't kidding. One more bear hit, that's all we need. Let's see if they play anything. Ooh, they're going to play something? Oh, they don't get to draw a card. Nice. Well, they have to deal with six, and Famine is not an out. So, that seems good. Obzadath puts him to four and can't block. It also likely taps them out. Oh my god, what are we, how are we winning these games, man? This is wild. I don't know what's happening right now. What up, always on top? I really just wish I had a power sync when it was relevant. Like, I feel like cards like Syncopate are just so good, and it's like, we just can't, uh... Bad day in Rome? What's the what's the problem in Rome? I do kind of like Stitcher's Apprentice, because we did the dance. I think it's fine with that. He can't keep getting away with it! And he won't. But you gotta put the gas down. Just the weather? Oh, you could... Okay, so you'll be alright. You'll be alright. Man, in 2020, if you say something's bad, I'm like, oh, fuck. How, could it, how does it get worse? <sighs> this is not a great hand. Do you know about Dominic the Christmas Donkey? I know about little Sebastian. Bye-bye, little Sebastian. I don't think we can keep this hand. Yeah, I think this is much better, actually. I'm going to send an island back. You're just 5,000 candles in the wind. Ideally, we draw Pyromancer, and they never draw Famine. That's the... Oh, I like Spellfist into Dragon Fodder. Depends on what they play, I guess. A lot of two drops here. How did they kill our guy the other game? Helix, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I was like, can they kill us with Helix? And I'm like, yes, they can. Oh my god. Oh, they're just gonna do that. So we get to play Mar we get to play Minotaurs next turn. <sighs> Presumably. I 
Wait, you're going to take this and we get to play Minotaurs? No, there's no way. You have to have a, a removal spell for this guy, right? No, you don't. I see. Well. Do they have famine? Why would you? I don't. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah. We're definitely using that ability. Sure. Here comes Obza Daddy. Bam. Okay. Sounds good. I'm just going to play this guy because he's more expensive. I mean, Path into Famine is pretty good. They're virtually at 10. I think a Wrecking Ball in my Battle Royal, sh battle royal Shaman. Wow. Okay, now they're at 16 again. <laughs> Are they going to... Oh, they're going to Wake Dancer? Wow, that's really good. Yep, alright. I mean, I thought we had a great start, but turns out they just have it all, so... Not terrible. Like, next turn we can bounce the token and attack for four. We're just trying to dodge jobs of that, that's all. Uh, we could not save the Goblin Dawn Life game. We did not have two mana. Mark, you can't just do whatever you want in Magic. You gotta actually have... Gotta actually have the mana to do these things. All right, five one ones on board. We're kind of all in here. Trumpet blast would be chef's kiss. Fulminator mage. Fascinating. So we can deal four here. I think we just killed the fulminator mage. To be quite honest. Like, we'll deal 4, they go to 13, we deal 3, they go to 10, we go to 2, they go, like it just doesn't do anything here by itself. I'd just rather have the 5 guys that are not getting eaten every turn, so. Also, if your play is Fulminator Mage, it's kind of weird. Do they just have all 6 drops? What do they have here? 1-1, one, one, we have no cards in hand? That's wild. Oh man, well, that would have been good last turn. five we have lava spike in our deck we have rift bolt in our deck and they have obsidian in their deck skeletal vampire 
That is pretty decent. That's not good at all. This regenerates, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna. Oh, they even, they even, so they they go block block. They take one. And they can't actually regenerate the bat anymore, which is actually pretty good. Okay. This is fine. <laughs> sure. Alright, so they're at four. Six mana. Okay, Grixis Slave Driver doesn't kill us. That guy has haste. So they go block 3-3 three, three with 4-4, four, 2-2 four, two, two with 3-3, three, three, and the 1-1 one, one gets through. So I think we're just going to go wide here. For the first time. Yeah, I just think if they draw that we're just dead. We're just really hanging on. Here it is. Yep. Nope. We're still alive to like one of our burn spells. Ten. Yep. Chain lightning is in the graveyard, Mark. Come, Mark, you're being you're like terrible tonight. Okay, so Yeah, it's not worth playing this out. Yep. Cool. Nice rares. Oh, the mirror match. Mage? I don't know what that means. You have to be a little more specific. going to pass here. So they go artifact, artifact, edge champion. Fairy mechanist is a good dude. Yeah, MTG not the best for smaller devices. Lots of, lots of small parts where you kind of have to... I think we're going to obsessive search here. I want to be able to get the ball rolling. We don't have empty the Warrens and we do have lava spike. Oh, we can't play Minotaurs here because there's no way they don't block one and one. I'm also pretty sure they're easily going to take three here.
Okay. Did they whiff? Oh, they whiffed on Fairy Mechanist as well, which is pretty nice. It's just a 2-2 two, two for 4. <sighs> Sounds okay. Did we draw Burn? Oh, no, they drops it out. <laughs> they drops it out before we drew... They drew their one guy before we drew any of our, like, three dudes, so... Yep, two cards in hand. Do we get to trade with this owl? That would be really neato. Yeah, we're just playing 5-5 five, five here. We can Goblin Commando and kill this guy, but he's not a threat yet. And Plus, we can Goblin Commando kill the Fairy Mechanist, or totally lost the Fairy Mechanist or another artifact, so... Deep analysis? Sure. Draw two more. Take three. More than out of squirrels. <laughs> tribal is hard, yeah. Especially for EDH where you have to find like 99 cards that are tribal related in some way. Interesting. Ha ha ha. Uh, yes. That guy. Okay. I'll commando you. I'm still going to keep Lava Spike. There's no reason to cast them. They play differently if they have three less life. Plus, um, if we draw Empty the Warrens, it's just better to have it in hand. Man, drawing that here when they don't when they can't actually take advantage of this guy is pretty telling. I mean we have seven damage in hand here, so. Hmm. I'm just going to bounce this guy so they have to draw it again. I mean, if we attack with both of these guys, they're probably going to block here, here, and here, and take two. Which I actually think is fine when, they have, when we have seven damage here. Yep. Yep. Yep, exactly. Okay, sounds good. I am going to cast this now, though, because um, I want to maximize the amount of mana we have next turn. If we draw land, we can just the wind and a prophetic bolt. I mean, ideally we can just draw Chain Lightning, right? That'd be pretty cool. We can also just try to find it. Hmm. That'll do. Got him. And they conceded. Just let it resolve and hit okay. Uh, Moongold Extract still seems better than Obsessive Search here.
mean, Force of Will would be rough, but I think it's very unlikely. How does it feel to burn opponent's faces? Um, not terrible. I'll keep this hand. This guy could be good. draw a card here. Just like, know what? Take it upstairs. <laughs> oh, compulsive is nice. What a lonely sandbar. Yeah, we can just pass here, think twice, Iron League Steed maybe. You got it. Yeah. I don't think you're going to whiff this time. I think last time it was just a fluke. I was wrong. You whiffed again. I like that. I like that next turn, but also, like, we can go Pyromancer into, uh, into Rift Bolt something. We also have Goblin Commando. Pyromancer into Rift Bolt makes Rift Bolt a 1 1 creature for 30 that deals 3 damage when it comes into play. It's pretty good. Okay, okay. I mean, I think they're going to block and, and pirate spell bomb, and I think I'm totally okay with that because then my pyromancer is a little more likely to live here. Okay. We're doing it. Yep, you got it. Oh, the glacial ray. Oh, hey, look, Kermode Frank is streaming. Also, Monsonster. Did you get my Discord DM from a couple of nights ago? Um, I saw it on my phone. I didn't have time to, like, respond, and then I forgot to respond. So, technically, yes. Okay. Well, that guy is a 3-4, which is a little harder to deal with. I kind of feel like I just want to play Illusory Ambusher. Surprise Glacier and Pirate Spellbomb just did me so dirty. 
Maybe we draw Lava Spike and go Pyromancer Rift Bolt Lava Spike. Unfortunately, Ambusher does not have Reach or Flying. But I can get four in there. Wow, this is a lot of lands. Ten lands to five spells. That's how you do it. We're just going to hit this guy because if they actually equip this, it's actually two turn clock. It's five damage and five, five damage. Whereas now even if they equip it, it's only a two turn. It's a three turn clock. So... You know, fingers crossed. You know, you don't have to... Why, why do you... It's, it's a... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I feel like you don't have to say it's red, but here we are. One and one, I'm sure. Oh, that was a good hit, though. Would have been better last turn when they didn't have that equipped, but... Bolting the cat actually probably would have been better. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight? Wow, that's a lot of... A lot of nothing. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. So we'd have to draw like... We literally have to draw like chain lightning or fire blast or I think that might be it I mean if they can deal us two we're still dead too so or actually any spell right because then with this guy would pump twice oh he only gets plus one plus oh so this is actually three they go to five yeah we need a two mana spell now we need a three damage spell Hmm. One, two, three. Cast face down. Bounce you. That will do. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. Eleven lands. This is one, two, three, four, five damage. They go to three. Let's see if the next card is Fire Blast. Totally lost, actually, would have also done it. Alright. I kind of want Capsule again. Or Marsh Flitter. Oh, what up, Dennis? Long time no see, buddy. I think our deck's actually good. Double Gorehorn Minotaur seems great against them. I don't know. Yeah, I think our deck is fine. We just had to we just lost against the one flyer, really. Yeah, we'll keep this. They're basically dead. I don't think they can race this. This game is practically over. Huh. Do you think they kill one of these guys? In quarantine, a cover here code, and I've been having some symptoms. Oh my god. Katie's been feeling sick the past two days, and we're hoping she doesn't have something worse than just a cold. 
Because she takes like every precaution at work. She wears like two face masks and a face screen. So that's actually really good because now we can't get through with our one guy. Battle Rattle Shaman here would be good. <laughs> I mean, we're, they're going to kill it next turn, but we get the we get the three damage in here, or we get to trade with a mana war, both of which are fine. Did Super Fritz get killed a lot? Dang. Impulsive research. Because this turn, if you spend your time killing this, we get to play Gorhorn Minotaurs. So, I think they're going to do it now. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they also discarded two spells for their compulsive. One of which could actually bounce this guy. Okay. This is fine. We have four, five, we have ten damage in hand. That seems like a good amount. I'm just gonna hold it. But if they have chain lightning, we have to keep up our double mountain. So. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna kill that guy, on the spot. Hmm. Are they going to block Glacial Ray? Because that's interesting. Um, whew, I like Young Pyromancer. Especially with Chain Lightning. Yeah, that seems good. Or other option, Gauntlet Commando, Think Twice, and uh, something else. Oh, they're in blocking mode. Well, now they tap their their red mana. Okay.
This guy feels good against them. Electrolyze, sure. Fire blast one time. Just just end it. Just end it. Mountain. Well, I don't think they're going to have anything that makes me discard this, so I'm not going to... We're both in one card mode. I think we have time. Yeah, that's fine. You're going to mill me? You're going to mill yourself. Two islands, not a bad hit. Yep. So we have Rift Bolt we can hit. We have Fire Blast we can hit. Mountain. Mountain's good. I mean, we're also going to hold the Chain Lightning because we hit, like, uh, Empty the Warrens as well. So this is really awkward to come this close and just not have <laughs> a way to get through. Mana War. Bounce your uh, Owl's Familiar? Oh, I'm glad you didn't attack first. But I guess you want to attack with the Mana War instead. Solid. <sighs> A lot of small, gassy combos here. I like it. So we go to 9, and then they have 5 on board. So we have like 2 turns. Gonna play chain lightning here. We've come too far to to top deck a fire blast in a situation like this. I can also look four, five, six lands to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Sure. Yeah, we are well past the point of a <laughs> of 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 winning through combat now, unfortunately. Um. Interesting. How many outs do we have to kill this guy that don't just kill their face? A couple, actually. Just the wind totally absent. <laughs> I can power sink. I mean, we kill this, we block this, we still take three. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you feel the absolute fucking worst pity that you can experience in life. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for the support.